Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Kim. It has been a minute since I have been on here um, filming anything. So I did want to pop by and show you my um, design team. I'm running behind on it. This is my design team project for um, Line.Arrow for uh, July. Like I said, I'm, I'm running behind. But um, I actually made this with a file folder. And uh, I covered it with uh, material that I had. And I've sewn a bow into um, for the closure into the fabric right through here. And that's the closure. I added a pocket and it has one of the um, printable tags on it. And this little flower, you can just clip off of it. And that has a nice deep pocket. I did not add a lot of uh, lace to this one. I didn't really want to. It was more botanicals and I kind of wanted to go with that thing. So, um, it's two signatures. Look at this. One of her printables. I love when she makes these. And all I did was take two little um, stickers that I had, put them inside of that, and just did the back. And this is one of her um, fussy cuts. And right in this lace pocket that I have, I have some more of her little um, fussy cuts. And right in here is a um, paper bag that I created, added some lace, this is one of the tags in the kit, and I just put some um, lace around the bag, and also added a pocket with another one of the tags, and uh, put, this is a mother of pearl button, and I just kind of went kind of neutral and let the, um, the actual printables, uh, digital, um, kind of give the color and things. And this is just a little, uh, lace that I had that I added. And then a applique. Look at this, it's so pretty. I've done a lot of sewing on these pages. Therefore, I really didn't want to put a lot of lace. I'm loving the stitching throughout here and this is just a little um just a little pad that you can flip through just stuck in this little pocket it has this is some um avocado dyed and i didn't let it sit quite long enough so it's got kind of a peachy pink to it and this i just used a music um page and that's a journaling card with some um, coffee stain paper on the back. One of her tickets. And that just slips in there. And then just added some little embellishments. And another little tag that I backed with um, some book, old book page. That goes in there. Here's a tag that I have not put anything in. I had something that I was going to put in here. I'm, I'm not sure where I laid it. So I'll have to put something in there. So we will slip this extra page in there. And that's just a little tea bag um, paper. Go right in there. Some more. Um, this is coffee dyed. And this is one of her little um, fussy cut florals. This is a page I had out of a gardening book. And I'll put that in there. This was a really fun kit to work with. Look at those beautiful butterflies and flowers. And this signature, I just add some... Um, little charms that I had, and they actually have a little bit of a um, uh, clear charm in those. And that other side of that piece of paper with this beautiful print. 
And this is a hidden paper clip. And this just goes on, I put this on the, um, as a page, over the page. And this has just some of her fussy cuts in. And these pretty, these are so pretty. I like the way this little journal turned out. It is definitely a writing journal. Lots of room to write in and places to keep all your memories. Some more of that uh, coffee stain. This um, is a little tuck spot. As you can see. But, I did punch this right, so it needs something kind of like that. We could leave that in there. I mean, even better if it was coffee stain, but I used my paper punch, and this is one of her fussy cuts, and another one of her um, botanical um, fussy cuts. Here's a little tag. And that's the other side of that, um music page and then I made a side uh, tuck right here and added the tag. And this is a little envelope. You could put some goodies in there. And that just folds in and sticks right there. Another little applique with the pearl. And this is one of her um, fussy cuts that I just um, put it on top of some dictionary pages. No, a book of quotations that I have. More of that avocado paper. This, I just kind of, um, this was a piece of paper. I made a pocket out of it, and then also, uh, this was, um, paper, and I just wanted to make a tag with it, and it just has a little charm and some fabric. And then a bow, um, seam binding bow, and I added a little blingy bling I had there. And this is a second signature. And I just, um, on some old ledger paper, I just put some little collaging and then added that to it. Just a little tuck spot. Like I said, lots of writing um, spaces. Some more of the sewing. And this I just made like a little, you can see through this, this is one of the specimen cards. And this is just a little journaling uh, card that you can write on that I just tucked in there. I liked it. And then this is a little bling I added. Little gem. That's the middle of the signature. And then these are the little gems that I added. Um, to the signature. This is just a little um, tag that I used a paper clip to clip on um, and kind of hold the envelopes a little better. And you can slip some little goodies in here. And then this is glued to where it just kind of folds over. Let me take this off and show you. See, that just has a little um, fabric that I Post it on both the on both sides, and just glue the envelope. And it's got some little ephemera pieces in there. Really cute kit. Really pretty. So that's just like a over the page envelope, and I'll just have an extra clip on there, paper clip, hidden paper clip. Well, not hidden, but a paper clip to um, put those together. Um, dictionary page that I turned into a pocket with another one of the tags and, and I just did some edging on that, edging my punch some more of the botanical prints, this is just a little flip out I just dressed it up a little bit here was one of the challenges and it's just a little mini ephemera holder. It has a journaling card, and I back this with dictionary pages and more little ephemera pieces. 
thought that was really pretty. And then back here is a really big um, postcard that you can do a lot of journaling on. And this was um, tea stained, I believe. And then just lace pocket, double lace pockets. And that is it. And the back is like this. It looks kind of plain. And then it just ties together. And I like the way this turned out. It's really pretty. I think the fabric went really well with um, the kit. And then, like I said, this is the little um, piece you can take on or off. And it just clips on like that. And that is it. So I will have um, all of the line dot arrow, the kit below, and also um, try to remember to put our Facebook group in there where she has tons of challenges, really fun challenges. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, Y'all have a good day or night whenever you're watching. And until next time, bye-bye.